Five Questions with Ray Ortega, Deb Ng from Blog World New Media Expo, and Twitter like Jerry Seinfeld on this episode of Blog World TV. A social media rule that I think people should break, um, and I don't, I don't know how I want to caveat this, but I, I have an example that I use uh, in my book uh, from a gentleman who posted a blatant advertising message on his Facebook wall, but it was his personal Facebook profile, not a business page. Um, and the reason I use that as an example is that uh, this gentleman owned a uh, an auto care aftermarket store, a car stereo place. It was a cold day in January, and he posted on his Facebook wall, come get your remote car starter today at my store. Um, and it was a blatant advertising message, which all the you know social media purists say you shouldn't you do that on your personal Facebook profile. But uh, if you look at the comment thread of the people that saw that and said they were going to come in and have a remote car starter installed, there were 10 or 12 people that would have bought one. That one Facebook wall post probably generated about $4,000 in revenue for that guy. So it's not so much uh, a rule that I would recommend everybody break, but what you have to remember is if you're sending a relevant a message to a relevant audience at a relevant time and in a relevant location, the rules don't really matter because the audience will respond to it. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to Blog World TV, the show where we talk about Blog World and New Media Expo, which is coming to New York City on June 5th through the 7th. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Like I said, you can catch me over at Geekazine, geekazine.com, www.geekazine. Think magazine, take out the mag, put in a geek, and you got geekazine.com. My Twitter handle is Geekazine, and of course I do some other great shows on the interweb. Of course, my weekly Geek Smack show, iPad 365, which is an app a day to keep your iPad in play, and of course, The Day in Tech History, which is a full rundown of tech history over at www.dayintechhistory.com. Of course, I am the podcast editor at large for Blog World and New Media Expo. What that means is I get to create great videos, I get to talk to a lot of cool people, and I get to do a lot of cool things for you guys and, uh, and, and be a part of Blog World and New Media Expo. New York City, June 5th through the 7th. It's a great time. It's going to be the second year out there, and of course, I went out there last year with Blog World New Media Expo, and some of the clips that you're going to be seeing in a, in a few minutes are, who are you, people that were at Blog World New York last year that will probably be making the trip this year. Pretty cool stuff. I got tons of video of New York City, of Blog World, of the Book Expo, and a lot of other events that were happening out in New York City that week. It was a fun time, and I know exactly what to expect this time for New York. If this is the first time that you're attending Blog World and New Media Expo in New York or coming to New York at all, you have, it's a treat for everybody. I'm going to tell you right now, it's an amazing time just to soak in the city for four days is just not enough time. You've got to do it again and again and again. So I'm going to be soaking it up for another four days. I can't wait to go uh, visit Times Square, visit the uh, memorial. I didn't get to see Ground Zero Memorial. I'm going to be doing that this year, so on and so forth. Lots of things as well as a way for you to find out what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong with your blogs, your podcasts, your video casts, your marketing, your social media, anything that deals in this space. You should be part of Blog World and New Media Expo. All right, well, check it out. We're, we're over at blogworldexpo.com. This is the official site for you to register. And not only can you register for the event, which there's still time to do, you can also register for a virtual ticket. If you can't make the event and you want to be a part of the action, get yourself a virtual ticket. There's a great ways to do it. You hit that register now button, which is right about here on the top uh, right hand side of your browser window. You can just check it out. All right, well, you know, I sat down and I talked with one of these people. His name is Ray Ortega, and we sit down and we sat down for a five question hangout. And of course, it goes a little something like this. All right, and we're live. Hey, this is Jeffrey Powers here, and we're, we're here with Ray Ortega uh, of the website podcasterstudio.com. How are you doing today, Ray? Good, Jeffrey. Thanks. First question. Have you, this is your first time at a blog world. So what are you going to, what are you expecting 
to see and feel and hear and touch and smell and taste at Blog World New Media Expo New York 2012? Well, probably I expect to taste a lot of bad cafeteria food because <laughs> I'm going to be at the conference center. But no, hopefully we get some good food. But seriously, I'm hoping to just meet all the people that I've been talking to for years online, right? Or know through my own community, uh, producing my own podcast. You know, I know some of those people are going to be at Blog World. And uh, so it's just a cool chance to meet or to take some of those online relationships and uh, transfer them to the real world or IRL, I think they say, in real life, meeting some cool people. Okay, so my qu second question is works with names. Uh, who, you, who are you expecting to meet there that you really want to meet, that you really, you've, you've talked to, maybe talked to on a Hangout or, or talked to through a Twitter or something like that, but just really wanted to meet? Well, you know, I mean, there are the superstars, I guess you want to call them, the keynote speakers. And to be honest with you, I haven't set up my schedule yet. And because I've been pretty busy with just organizing for these three panels, um, getting together with the other people that I'm on the panels with v via Google Hangouts and go to meetings and all this stuff, I've been busy doing that. So actually kind of, uh, I'm not the best planner, I guess you could say. So my train ride, which is a good three to four hour train ride, was planning to really map out my schedule then. So to be honest with you, I don't even know who some of the big names going, but Again, just the people that I've been dealing with for years are actually more exciting. Uh, folks like Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting's Morning Announcements, I sort of call him my digital mentor or my podcasting mentor in a way because he's been producing a podcast about how to podcast since I started listening to podcasts way back in like 05. Well, that, that brings to the next question. Uh, question number three. Uh, you, you, you've been to New York before, but it's been a long time since you've been to New York. What do you, are you, are you expecting to do anything? Are you going to do anything extracurricular in New York besides attend all the blog world parties? Well, I'm coming in on the day of and leaving the last day. So it's going to be pretty, uh, my schedule's going to be focused tightly around blog world. Um, and I imagine, you know, stuff going on with people who are at Blog World after, you know, the conference, the day of the conference, maybe going out at night and hanging out. So I expect a lot of, um, to bring those online relationships into real life and really solidify them and meet new people. So I'm expecting it to be pretty Blog World intensive. Um, I do uh, affiliates with uh, B&H and they are a short walk. And B&H yeah. is sort of a Disneyland for podcasters. I mean, yes. if, you're a, if you're a gear nut, like most of, you know, like I am and most of my audience is, uh, I'm, hopefully, I'm going to get a few people together as like a meetup and go over to B&H. Um, so, you know, other than that, I don't have too much planned. Is there anything else that you're, uh, that you're doing besides podcasting? I noticed a couple cameras behind you. Do, you. do you also do photography? or? I do photography, but I got into photography as um, I got into DSLR video. So my first podcast was a video podcast all about picking out fresh fruits and vegetables. It's just mini tutorials, and that's how I taught myself video, video podcasting. And so I'm heavily into DSLR video making. Um, as a videographer first, you know, those cameras obviously make the best amazing images for video, but they also make great photos as well. So again, I said I'm working with B&H, and, and that relationship is continuing to grow. And so there's a big box of new gear back there to, to demo out and get, do some reviews on. So DSLR video, I do YouTube videos. I encourage podcasters to get on YouTube if possible. Um, I really push video. I think a lot of people... When they hear podcasting, they immediately just think audio, but video is just as much a part of it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm really into video, and uh, whether that's podcast or just shooting video in general. Finally, what do you podcast with? What are you planning to podcast with when you get out there? Are you planning to podcast if you get out there? I know that's like several questions in one, but, you know, it's one question. I'm not going to be doing any podcasts when I'm out there. I mean, three different panels and just meeting people, pretty much overwhelmed. I have in the past gone to uh, pod camps where I've, you know, brought along a, a, you know, a buddy of mine has gone with so he can run the camera and listen to audio. I got the microphone. We're interviewing people. But um, I don't have any plans to do that because I'm going to be pretty busy and it's going to be kind of I, – I feel like it's just going to just fly on by. It's going to be in and out, unfortunately. Okay. But uh, with a new baby at home, I'm going to get back home. But oh, um, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very excited about um, meeting everyone and, you know, focusing on those relationships. So I'm not going to get a chance to break up the microphone, but, uh, you know, I got an iPhone. So if I feel the need for some kind of mobile, mobile uh, interview, boom, I'm good. 
So what I do is help people put video online very easily and I tell them don't be intimidated when you hear it's going to cost you $8,100 to get started. Those people, it's not true. I mean, it could be true. You could spend that much, but what I say is use the camera that you have on you. Like an iPhone these days can shoot HD quality video, and there are ways. I teach all these different ways of putting video online that are really cool. So, for example, the iPhone, if you want better video, you can add a microphone to it, and there's this new microphone. It's called the iRig mic. Plugs right in, gives you brilliant audio. Another thing I teach is, um, you know, look for the light. Here we have nice studio lights. If we didn't have those, I'd like find take this camera and maybe go outside or go find a nice well lit area. So what I do is teach people how to easily put video online. And I wrote a book called Get Seen, and there's a ton of tips like that in the book too. All right, great times and great interview with Ray Ortega. Thank you very much for that. 10 minutes of your time. Of course, if you're on a Google Plus Hangout and you see me on a Google Plus Hangout, say, hey, I want to be interviewed for five questions. It will get to you and we'll ask, I'll ask you five questions and we'll get it up onto YouTube. And I'll also do, we'll also be doing this for Las Vegas. So when New York is done and you're already planning your trip to Las Vegas for uh, Blog World Las Vegas, which is January 5th through the 8th, then you can just call me up and say, hey, I want to do five questions. And of course, you can talk about yourself, your Twitter handle, your website, where you're from, what you do, and how people can contact you. That's as simple as that. All right, we just headed over to blogworld.com, the official blog of Blog World and New Media Expo. Now check this out. There's a lot of bloggers that are out there blogging, writing articles, submitting them, and of course they're getting posted on blogworld.com. If you're a blogger or a podcaster or a videocaster and you want to put some content on blogworld.com, you can let me know, Jeff at blogworldexpo.com, or of course you can uh, you can check out and talk with any of the other uh, bloggers out there at Blog World Expo at blogworld.com and submit articles. But check out some of the articles, things like "Are You Blogging for the Wrong Tribe?" by John. Whoops, that just flipped over too quick. Uh, John Falchetto. Uh, we have in the mobile side, "Knowing Me, Knowing You." Yes, that's an ABBA song. Simon Salt. Of course, as we go down, we'll find out new media news break, cyberbullying, and the Olympic Foursquare and more. Olympics on Foursquare and more, excuse me, by Allison. Johnny Truant talked about the virtual ticket will feel even closer to being there live this year and why that is true. And of course, a whole bunch of other news. We talk uh, on the blog and talk about new products coming out. We review products coming out. We talk about people and, and social marketing and social networking, uh, infographics, and anything else that has to do with blogging, podcasting, video casting, marketing, social media, or whatnot in this space. And that's pretty cool. Speaking of which, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to do a special little segment I like to call Your Twitters as Read by Jerry Seinfeld. Blog World Expo, I have a book? Wait, no, I don't. Can I sell old clothes in the store? My book isn't done yet. Oh, book futures. Dave Blogworld, my pleasure to note your awesomeness, B-W-E-N-Y. Charlie Curve, that's what I'm talking about, that's it. I'm adding Kenny Loggins' music to my B-W-E-N-Y presentation. Love your perspective, the brand builder, I'm moderating panel on big brands in Pinterest and B-W-E-N-Y, S-M-B-S. Link share blog. Thanks. Going to be fun. B W E N Y. Deb and G. Liz Strauss. Planning is good for you. Hence, I'll see you soon at New York. B W E N Y. Dave Ursillo. I'm coming in. Seventy-seven dollars is high. Early bit over. But don't forget B E A access. Lot more there. Are there any parties or functions on Thursday night for BWENY? Trying to decide if I'm supposed to stay in the city overnight, then to expand. Lynette Radio, yes, we have a reception at 7 o'clock on Thursday. It's walking distance from Javits, BWENY. 
Meet rock star lifestyle entrepreneurs like Lou Monaigo, Pat Flynn, and Ansa Fez at Blog World New York City, BWE, BWENY, Bentley, GA Go, Expand. And I'm here with Deb. How do you pronounce your last name, Deb? It's Ing. Like Ing. There's an I in front of it. Okay. <laughs> okay, but my father-in-law was too cheap to buy a vowel, so we're just doing it with letters. All right, so Vanna White never visited your home. <laughs> and we're here with, <laughs> with Deborah Ing, who uh, basically, she, she works with Blog World and New Media Expo. What, what was your role? What is your role now? I am the director of community for Blog World. I started there as the conference director, and I moved over this past January to be the director of community. I basically am in charge of talking to people <laughs> and getting them to drink the Kool-Aid. So um, <laughs> it's good I, Kool-Aid, folks. I, I know. I drank it. It's good well, drink. it depends on which drink ticket we give you at the party. <laughs> so, but um, so I'm, I'm tasked with you know finding out the wants and needs of our community and evangelizing to other people to come visit our community and um, teach content creators what Blog World is all about. So my my normal day involves reading a lot of email because a lot of people have questions, browsing the social networks to see who's talking about us, who has questions, who. I can have a conversation with, and then um, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, uh, creating content strategy, creating a social media policy, um, comment policies, working on new ways to interact, if, um, you know, working with our technical team for new pr to discuss maybe new programs that need to go live online. Um, I have been handwriting thank you cards to everybody who has registered to attend Block World. That's taken a little time. Really? Um, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I paid my uh, almost 10-year-old child 25 bucks to stamp them all. <laughs> 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 and then, um, you know, it's, it's planning the conference. It's a, team, a lot of team phone calls, a lot of strategy sessions, a lot of meetings, a lot of, hey, why don't we do this? You know, and, and planning some surprises. You're going to see some nice surprises at Blog World. So. Anything you can kind of hint to right here, right now for the audience? Um, well, one thing we have been putting together is, you know, when you go to the keynotes, you just walk in and you sit down and you wait for the keynote to begin. We're going to have some things for you to look at this time around. Um, so when when you when we switched from uh, from Las Vegas to New York and L.A. and now back to New York and Las Vegas, what was the one thing uh, uh, last year? What was the one thing that you found completely awesome about the whole conference when it actually approached in New York last year, and something yeah. that you're, you might even be looking forward to this year? New York is a totally different vibe than Las Vegas and Los Angeles. It's, you know, they always say that the West Coast is more laid back than the East Coast, and I think that's true. And I, I find that, to me, um, I lived in New York for, for more than 30 years, and when people go to conferences who live in, on, in New York and New Jersey, it's just another day at the office for them. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, let's fly in and spend a few days. It's let's go to the conference, and then we'll go home at 5 o'clock and have dinner you know, with our families. And so I was sort of looking forward to meeting a totally new group of people uh, who have a different sort of way to go about this conference thing and um, seeing if it was, if I can get the all business si uh, members of our community to sort of let loose for a while. Of course, once again, thank you very much to Deb Ng for taking out time in her very busy schedule. We've got two weeks before Blog World. She is completely swamped right now with requests. And of course, like she said, she's handwriting thank you notes to everybody, uh, to people that are coming out. So that's pretty cool. And that's that's dedication to, to the cause. All right, that's it for now. Once again, Blog World and New Media Expo coming June 5th through the 7th. If you can't make it, Get yourself a virtual ticket. You're, of course, if you go over to blogworldexpo.com, you can find out more. Remember that hashtag, B-W-E-N-Y. That stands for Blog World Expo New York, B-W-E-N-Y. Don't 
forget to put that little pound sign in front of it. And of course, that's how you can get to be part of the conversation. Blog World Chats happen every single Thursday, so get onto your Twitter. And of course, uh, if you're on TweetDeck, uh, put down the search for BWE Chat, Blog World Expo Chat. And of course, you can be part of the Blog World Chats. Wow, we've got two weeks before the event, and I can't wait. I'm very stoked. So we're going to be back next week. We're going to talk to a few more people. We'll try and get a couple of the speakers on. And, of course, uh, maybe even talk to some of the sponsors that are part of it. But for now, my name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching Blog World and New Media Expo's Blog World TV. We will see you next time. You guys geek out. That's my call. And, of course, see you at Blog World and New Media Expo.